हेलो फ्रेंड मेरा नाम सत्य कुमार फोटोशॉप एडिक्टर है आप आप मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करेंगे आपको बहुत सारे फोटोशॉप ट्यूटोरियल मिलेंगे थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉर यूट्यूब चैनल really doesn't matter so I'm just gonna make it red just so that you can see it there it is red what I'm gonna do now is enable the layer for the snowboarder I'm gonna click and drag her up to the top of the layers panel and I'm also gonna double tap here on the zoom tool just so we can see the image at 100% and actually now that I'm looking at it at 100% I'm actually gonna right click on it and choose fit on screen so that I can see the entire composition then I'm gonna press ctrl J command J and the max to duplicate so now I have two copies. I'm going to disable the one on the top by clicking on this eye icon and the one on the bottom here. I'm going to click to the shape below it. So with that layer selected, I'm going to press Control alt g command option g on the Mac. Then I'm going to enable the layer right above that. And I'm just going to make a selection around the snowboarder. So I'm going to click on the quick selection tool and I'm simply going to click and drag around her now you don't have to be very precise at this moment you can just click and drag and we'll worry about the details later so we're just gonna select her as quick as we can so i'm just clicking and dragging and notice that my selection is not very accurate you shouldn't spend too much time at this moment if you select an area like this part here that is obviously not going to be part of the selection i'm going to hold alt option on the mac click and drag just to refine that selection just a little bit more around the snowboarder I'm gonna select that top layer and click on the layer mask icon to create a mask around the snowboarder so what I'm gonna do now is click on this top layer hold shift and click on the layer below it so they're both selected and I'm gonna click on this little chain link icon here to link those two layers what that allows you to do is when you move one of those layers with the move tool it moves both and they can be in different groups and they can be separated so that allows us to keep those two layers together what I'm going to do now is press Ctrl T, Command T to transform, to scale this and adjust it accordingly. If you can't see the corner handles that you want to click and drag on, you can press Ctrl 0, that's Command 0 on the Mac, for the bird's eye view that allows you to see all four corner handles. Then I'm going to click and drag on this one here to scale it down by holding Shift, Alt, that's Shift, Option on the Mac. Now at this point, we can go back and adjust the layer mask if we need to. So I'm going to zoom in just so we can see the areas that we need to work on. So we need to work on this area and then the blue outline around her body. So we can adjust that by clicking on the layer mask in the properties panel. You can click on mask edge. If you don't see the properties panel, you can go into window, properties. Click on mask edge and then maybe shift the edge with a negative value and see how that's adjusted. So and keep adjusting it and making sure that that line is gone but we don't lose any detail that we want to keep. Also, with this brush selected, I can click and drag here on the hair and hopefully we'll get a better selection. So now, I didn't do that good of a job here, so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now and then I can come back with the brush tool and fix that in a moment. So I'm gonna press OK, click on the brush tool, paint with white in areas that I want to keep. So I'm just going to paint with white in these areas here. And I know I'm selecting some of the sky, but that's okay. I'm going to get rid of that by pressing X on the keyboard, which swaps the foreground and background color. And with black, I'm going to paint on that layer mask to get rid of the sky here. And I'm not going to take the time to do so now. I will do that after the tutorial and you can see the final image. But I'm just going to go around the entire image and just 
make sure that everything is masked out accordingly. And in most of these areas, everything seems to be okay. I know we gotta work on this area here. And like I said, I'll do that after I'm done with the tutorial and you can see my final results. But for now, we'll just leave it as is. I'm gonna press Z on the keyboard, right click, and choose the screen. And what we're gonna work on now is extra elements that are gonna help our composite look much more realistic and much more interesting. So from the Adobe Stock Library, I downloaded two elements. White is currently my foreground color. To fill with the foreground color, you can hold Alt and Backspace, Option, Backspace on the Mac. Then Control D, Command D on the Mac to deselect. Now we gotta work on this bottom part. There's a feature in Photoshop called Apply Image. If you go into Image, Apply Image, what Apply Image allows you to do is to take an image and apply it onto a self using a blend mode. In this case, we're taking the blue copy, applying the screen blend mode onto itself. So notice what happens during the snow on the edge. It essentially turns white, which is what we want. You can also, of course, apply a multiply blend mode and it'll give you a different result. In this case, I think I'm gonna go with screen and then I'll just work on the edges in the next step. So I'm gonna press OK. And what I'm gonna do now is go into image adjustment levels and bring the levels to the right, the dark valleys to the right, so we have more contrast between the snow and the ground. And remember, we're going to be making a selection. Anything that's white in this screen will be selected. Anything that is black will be deselected. So I'm going to drag this one over to the left a little bit. I'm looking at the edges here. And maybe drag this one to the left as well. And press OK. Now, what I'm going to do now is click on the brush tool. Select black as my foreground color so I can paint with black. I'm going to increase the size of my brush by clicking on the right bracket key on the keyboard and I'm just going to paint with black. And again, you don't have to be very accurate. As long as you get close enough, it should be good. And I'm just painting these pixels away which represent floor. And once again, I'm going to go into image, adjustment, levels and darken up some of the darker pixels and brighten up the mid-tones a little bit and press sort of like here behind the frame so this is what this is showing 5% or so and what I'm going to do now is right above this snow element here I'm going to create a new layer and I'm just going to paint with this color here under the board so you can click on the eyedropper tool select that color and maybe make it a little bit darker because it's too light something like that and just continue that shadow that's coming off the board and actually let me drag this layer up on top of the group and just continue painting that shadow that's coming off the board so maybe something like this and then change the blend mode to multiply and bring that shadow way down so maybe something like that now the only difference between the final image that you saw in the beginning and this one is that with the final image I took a little more time working with the mask, a little more time placing the elements and moving things around so they fit a little bit better. But these are the techniques that I use to create this effect. If you decide to create an image using this tutorial or any of my tutorials, then upload it to Instagram with the hashtag PTC vids. Every so often I do a search for that hashtag and if I find your comment. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned something new. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to click that like button and share this video with a friend. So with that layer selected, I'm going to press Control, Alt, G, Command, Option, G on the back. Then I'm going to enable the layer right above that. And I'm just going to make a selection around the snow border. So I'm going to click on the quick selection tool. And I'm simply going to click and drag around her. Now you don't have to be very precise at this moment. You can just click and drag. And we'll worry about the details later. So we're just going to select her as quick as we can. So I'm just clicking and dragging. And notice that my selection is not very accurate. You shouldn't spend too much time at this moment. If you select an area like this part here that is obviously not going to be part of the selection. I'm going to hold both option on the Mac, click and drag just to refine that selection just a little bit more. Okay, now that I have 
selection active around the snow border. I'm gonna select that top layer and click on the layer mask icon to create a mask around the snow border. So what I'm gonna do now is click on this top layer, hold shift and click on the layer below it so they're both selected. And I'm gonna click on this little chain link icon here to link those two layers. What that allows you to do is when you move one of those layers with the move tool, it moves both. And they can be in different groups and they can be